Coaching really helps me in uh, almost all aspects of my teaching. It's helpful in planning, it's helpful when I think about delivery, and it's very helpful also when I think about assessment. Um, it feels almost like a, I guess, a formalized version of those wonderful conversations you sometimes have in a staff room with colleagues. This is a way of ensuring that those conversations happen on a regular basis and that there's someone that you feel can, um, can just help you see these broader perspectives. The reason why I like using instructional coaching is firstly, it gives you someone to bounce some new ideas off and help you research ideas. And second, what I found really useful was when you're introducing these ideas to your classroom or you're looking at a particular part of your teaching, it gives you a second pair of eyes to look at the things maybe you wouldn't be able to see or you're too busy doing the teaching or the le or helping with the learning to actually be able to go around and collect the data. <laughs> Co-teaching, for example, helped me remember all these things that I hadn't done for a while, you know? And sometimes um, it's new piece of information that you get. We have been talking about all these different theories or um, methods, etc. It's like reading a new book sometimes because you get new knowledge, which is fantastic. Because I wanted to talk about ATLs and how to integrate ATLs more purposefully within what I'm teaching. And so the first thing I wanted to look at was critical thinking. So I created a doc where I put some student examples of a critical thinking paragraph that they wrote. And I wanted to find ways for students to identify what aspects of their paragraph was critical thinking. So we looked at several examples and then he gave me some feedback on the things that I identified and how to help the students see this more proactively, either individually or with other people in the class. Because it is so personal, it lets me reflect on my approaches to teaching and to facilitate learning. By having a second pair of eyes in my classroom, it allows for a different perspective and also creates a starting point for conversations that range all the way from classroom management strategies to exploring cognitive mechanisms in learning. Overall, I value having a coach because it allows for an exchange of ideas, techniques and strategies within a specific frame that is relevant to my own continued professional development. Being a teacher is a very reflective process and we can reflect uh, on our own work all the time, but I don't feel that we, we actually develop as much as having an objective opinion. And having that objective opinion has really allowed for the space to grow as a teacher. And asking and finding questions that I didn't even know existed about my practice and just reminding myself actually that most of the things I'm doing are right, but there's always a new way to do something. There's always a simpler way to do things. And Working with a coach was very collaborative in nature. It was more of a friendship and they were there to help you reflect and think about uh, the things you were trying to accomplish and give you a fresh perspective on the challenges that you were facing. One great thing about working with coach was I was able to choose what I wanted to work on each session and together we came up with a plan of action. Um, the process was very collaborative and we were able to brainstorm ideas together. Uh, we shared resources, and I learned a great deal from that experience working with an instructional coach. I think it's a fabulous way to um, get a fresh perspective on what it is that you're actually trying to accomplish.